This is Walnut. And Peanut. We're going to show you how to mod Minecraft. Right? One of the nation's favorite games. Alright, let's hit play here on the old video we made, and we'll talk you through it. Alright, first thing we're going to do is create a folder somewhere on the computer. Somewhere where you can remember where to get it. Okay? Usually you want to name it after the version of Minecraft that you're wanting to mod. How do you do that, son? To do this, you would like to right-click in the white, and there should be a button labeled New. Once you click on that, you should see Folder. Alright. Okay, now let's, uh, what do we need? We need Minecraft Forge, right? Yes. What are we doing here? Yeah, we need Minecraft Forge for the version we want to put a mod in. Okay. Okay, so now we are searching for Forge. The top one would be the right one. The second one is a site that could be an ad. Oh, yeah, we don't want to get viruses or anything. Okay. So you get to the... the official files.minecraftforge.net and on it we'll have all the greatest forges. Whoa, what is all this? This is AdFly. Okay. Don't do click do? on the bottom there where it says your download is ready. But it says my download's ready. But that's not it. You it's want, a trap. You want to click skip ad. Okay. Yep, skip ad. There we go. Yep, yep, skip ad and then it actually got the file. Whoa, almost clicked on it. Okay, watch out for that. Okay, good. Now why do they even do this? thing with AdFly. What's up with that? I'm guessing so the modders can make money. Oh, okay. Yeah. So don't click on any of that extra stuff. Just go after what you really want. So now it's running. We installed it. It says it installed successfully. So we're clicking OK. Hey, look at that. Oh, uh, Windows said it didn't. It did not install. Or just say it did. Just say it did. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Now, now what are we doing? We're in Minecraft. So we are going to create a new profile right. for 1.7.10. It probably should be called 1.7.10. Mods. That makes sense. That yeah. way we keep it all straight, right? That way you don't go into 1.7.10 picking it's the modded one. Yeah, there you go. And I see used version down there just a second ago. Uh, we selected our Forge version we just downloaded. Now we got to tell it the directory. This is the directory earlier where we started the video. And we said, remember where it is because you're going to have to type it in again. And you'll mess it up And when you type it. And uh, So click open game directory. That way you can test to see if you mess it up when you type it in. And I did. I got typos here. Okay, get that U out of there. That's just crazy. All right, hit the open game directory button. Hey, look at that! It opened a file explorer of Windows and proved that we typed it in right. Okay, now what are we doing? We're gonna run it, right? Yes, we are. You will see the Mojang screen, and here we are. We're in Minecraft. So now we just want to see if Minecraft Forge is installed. Once you see that, you can just exit out of the game. Now the reason we did that whole thing is because there was nothing in that directory we created to allow us to mod the game. So here we'll, we'll, we'll now see all the stuff that allows us to mod the game. What do we got here? Now we have the config folder, the logs, the mods, the saves, and the resource And now, now there's nothing in mods. I thought we just modded Minecraft. Well, we don't have any mods yet. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. So let's Google Bing. <laughs> hey, there's a cat. Actually, that's a fox. No, that's a, I think, Heigl. What's her name? No, are you calling Al Sharpton a fox? That, that's, I've never heard Al Sharp, Sharpton called a fox. But he is a handsome man for his age. All right. What are you, what are you Bing in here? We're going to look up the Lord of the Rings mod. It's one of my favorite mods. Okay, can you just click any of them? No. You see how that's minecraftmods.org? That's not the one you want to click on. You would want to click on minecraftform.net. Yeah, that, that's a good trusted one. It, it's yes. been around a while, probably before uh, many of you toddlers were born. It's probably the safest one. Well, it actually came out when Minecraft did. Okay, he whispered it the first time because he thought it was stupid. <laughs> what is this ad fly again? We clicked something. Okay. All right, computer. so we click. Your download is ready. Click here to start downloading. Oh, Don't oh. do that. You want to click skip ad and you okay. will be brought to... Oh, me. my goodness, Mediafire. What in the world? <laughs> Look at all this stuff flashing. I'm old. <laughs> well, unless you want to click... On, don't click on any of this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I clicked it. I clicked the right thing, though. No, oh, my gosh. I got double added. Okay, so unless you want to download a virus, don't click on anything else. Don't click on the Shadow of Mordor or the March of Chevrolet. Don't click on that. You want to click on Start Download, the big green bar in the center. Okay. All right. All right, there down at the bottom, I see it. It, fi it actually launched when I clicked the other one that was a trap. It was a trap. You know who said that? Is that big lobster? Yeah. In uh, so, Return of Jedi. Yeah. Alright, here we go. There it is, there it is. Okay, now we are going to bring this up. 
All right, now, now, now where did it land? Did it land anywhere we wanted it to? No, it landed in the download. So we're going to right click, and press cut, then we're going to go over to our folder and put it in mods. Very good. Oh, good old right click right there, right yes. click paste. If you can't figure out a computer, just right click. It most likely will be there. That's the number one rule. If you're confused, hit the right click. If you get confused again, you probably need to use your other right. <laughs> Am I louder than you? <laughs> yes. Okay, so now... All right, now we're running it, right? Yes, we, we, we are. We got, got it in the mods folder, so we went back and we ran our profile again. All right, what are we looking for here? Right now, we are going to check back at the mod where we saw just Forge, and there it is, Lord of the Rings mod. So now, we're going to start a world. You'll want to do a new world because it could corrupt your old world, and you'll want to do it in creative just so you don't spend a lot of time looking around for stuff. Very good. Go with rain. You know, they can't actually make more land. That's why real estate's a good investment. Hmm. Alrighty. We'll wait, wait. Okay, there we go. Got a tree. All right, there's a tree. There's a tree in the movie, right? Yeah. All right, so what, now what should we do to verify, really, that we got this mod working? The arrows up top are not in Minecraft, so you'll want to click on one of the arrows, and you should see all the crazy things that come with this mod. Okay, so the mod gives you additional pages that Minecraft would have never even dreamed yes, of, Yes, right? but also some mods may still be in the folder for normal things. If it's a food mod, it could be in just a normal food folder. Oh, okay, so it does blend into yeah. the normal Minecraft. Sometimes page. it does, and others it has an additional page. Well, great. Okay, well, there you go. That's how you mod. It is very, uh, very difficult. <laughs> and difficult things normally mean they're going to be awesome. You also want to, uh, what, teach your kid to do it? Yeah. Yeah, because they need to know how to navigate around viruses, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to click on that, that ad for Shadow of Mordor, even though it sounds cool. <laughs> right. If you want Shadow of Mordor, you can go to more legitimate sites yes. that have that kind of thing. Now, I, I'm sure they add the, the, the modders out there wanting to kill us right now because they're making money off all this corrupt malware clicking. <laughs> yes. But uh, I'd say go to, you know, uh, other sites out there that, uh, you know, do legitimate games. I actually did that kind of thing with a game called Roblox. I saw the advertisement on a video one day, but I didn't want to click it, so I went up to my search bar and typed in Roblox.com and found it. Yep, there you go. Just go straight to the source, the main thing. It'll give you the best, safest video. I like that. I appreciate people still hanging around at this point because we're no longer talking about modding. Uh, please subscribe, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got all kind of neat things we're teaching. We might even teach how to... Add resource packs. Oh my goodness, that sounds scary. See you next time. Bye.